Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 283. Antiarrhythmics. What are the Class 1 Antiarrhythmics? The Class 1 Antiarrhythmics are the sodium channel blockers. What is the mechanism of action of the Class 1 Antiarrhythmics? To answer this question and to help understand this, please also look at the picture on page 283. Class 1 antiarrhythmics slow or block the conduction, especially in the depolarized cells. They decrease the slope of phase 0 depolarization and increase the threshold for firing in abnormal pacemaker cells. The sodium channel blockers are state dependent and they selectively depresses the tissue that is frequently depolarized. This is why they are good in tachycardias. What condition can cause an increase in toxicity of all the class 1 drugs? Hyperkalemia causes an increase in toxicity for all class 1 drugs. What are the three subclasses of the class 1 antiarrhythmics? The three classes include class 1A, class 1B, and class 1C. Name some of the drugs in class 1A antiarrhythmics. Some of the class 1A sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics includes quinidine, procainamide, and disopyramide. What is the mnemonics to help you remember the class 1A sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics? The mnemonics to help you remember this is just remember the quote, the queen proclaims disos pyramid, where queen stands for quinidine, proclaims is the procainamide, and disos pyramid is disopyramide. What is the mechanism of action of class 1A antiarrhythmics? To answer this question, it's also helpful to look at the picture on page 283. The mechanism of action of class 1A antiarrhythmics is to increase the action potential duration. It increases the effective refractory period, the EPR, and it also increases the QT interval. What are some of the types of arrhythmias in which you would use class 1A antiarrhythmics? Class 1A antiarrhythmics are used in both atrial and ventricular arrhythmias, especially reentrant and ectopic supraventricular and ventricular tachycardia. What are some of the toxicities or side effects of using quinidine? The side effect and toxicity of using quinidine is synchronism, in which you would have headache and tinnitus. What is tinnitus? Tinnitus is the ringing of the ears. What is the side effect or toxicity of using procainamide? Side effect or toxicity of using procainamide is you would have reversible lupus-like syndrome. What is the side effect or toxicity that can happen with the use of disopyramide? The side effect or toxicity that can happen with the use of disopyramide is heart failure. What are some of the other side effects or toxicities that can happen with use of any of the class 1 antiarrhythmics? Some of the other toxicities include thrombocytopenia and tersodes de point. The reason tersodes de point can happen is because anything that increases the QT interval can lead to tersodes de point. Define thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia is when there is a deficiency of platelets in the blood. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.